Assalamu alaikum. Thank you everyone for joining us. Uh, for those of you that are tuning in again to another episode, um, or for those that are new, this is Zoom In on the Hawal Metropolis. My name is Asma Baban. I work with the Hawal Metropolis team at U of M Dearborn. Uh, and basically the Zoom In on the Hawal Metropolis um, project that we are undertaking currently is looking at how Muslim communities are affected by and how they are sort of coping with um, and dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic that is going on. And today we're joined uh, by, with Rahaf Khatib, who has been, um, who has conducted before a, a whole metropolis um, panel that we've done. And today um, she's going to talk to us about what it means to run like a hijabi during the pandemic. Um, and what you're doing. So, Rahaf, why don't you um, introduce yourself? Hi, so my name is Rahaf Khatib. Um, I am the blogger or, I don't know, the runner from um, Run Like a Hijabi on Instagram, and I have a blog as well. Um, basically, to answer your question about how we're handling this is, you know, I have my kids home, so I have three yeah. kids, and uh, my husband's home now too. And it's just, you know, it's just a lot of, lot of craziness going on. It's, it's trying to contain them, trying to um, get them to do their homeschooling, trying to get them outside and, and juggling a lot of things at once, you know, and adjusting to this new, hopefully temporary life. Um, and it's hard because they're, they really miss their school. They really miss their friends and stuff. So. I'm trying to be like comforting, but it's, you know, it's stressful at the same time. So there's a lot going on. Personally, and I'm sure you're probably dealing with this. I know a lot of people are affected by the fact that like their physical routines are disrupted. So right. one of, you know, like physical exercise, for example, a lot of people that took up, especially considering that the new year had just started and a lot yeah. of people, you know, new year's resolution, go to the gym. Um, and having that no longer be a part of daily life, how has that affected you? I know you were, tr uh, last time we spoke for the Halal Metropolis um, hijab panel that you came and spoke on, you had mentioned that you were um, raising money to run a, 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 um, a marathon, I believe, yeah. uh, in Palestine, in but Palestine. you can't do that now. So how does it affect something like that? You know, that's, that was so disappointing. Like I was literally working so hard and raising money for um, refugee Palestinian yeah. women in Palestine to grow um, a business, a vegetable business on their rooftops. Um, and that was through Penny Appeal. And we were scheduled to leave like a week. I was scheduled to leave a week ago, actually, and um, more than a week ago. But um, and that had to be postponed due to the coronavirus. Yeah. Uh, Bethlehem was hit really hard with Corona right at the same time um, as Wuhan did, kind of. So that was postponed. And I don't know if they're going to do it later this year um, or we're going to go next year. I don't know what the plan is yet for that. But we were supposed to go, um, go to the refugee camps, pass out food parcels, um, visit the women who are, you know, um, growing this business and, um, and running in Bethlehem. And I was so excited for that. You know, I've never ran in an Arab country before. So that, oh, wow. Muslim country. So that would have been like my first time running yeah. there out of my 11 marathons that I've run in countless other races. So that was supposed to be a really exciting time. But unfortunately, it was postponed. So now what I'm doing is just trying to contain my fitness. Um, actually, during this time for athletes, we're not supposed to overtrain because that can actually suppress your immune system. Mm. And how do you know your immune system is suppressed by an elevated heart rate? So every athlete has some sort of a gadget, like a watch or a heart rate. So somehow, yeah. some, a way that you can um, track your heart rate, resting heart rate. So if that's elevated more than usual, then you know that you're overtraining. Mm. And um, for me right now, all I'm trying to do is just keep it at a steady, steady state um, fitness wise. And I'm, I'm running every other day. I'm taking it, you know, nice and easy paces, nothing too crazy. Um, cross training on the days that I don't run. 
Um, I'm trying to take walks with my husband and kids outside. Um, my, my boys are into basketball and soccer, so they'll just play out here in the yard. And I'm trying to get them, you know, it's really important for them to move more so than it is for me. Mm. For me, I'm already, you know, I'm already uh, trained. I'm already an athlete. I'm not really too concerned about myself. Yeah. I'm really concerned about my kids. Um, but for mentally, it's really good at this time to move your body. Um, and don't stress yourself out if you're not getting that, um, that sweat in every day. Um, just take a nice walk, something to just get out there in the fresh air to, to take your mind off of the news, turn off the news, you know, turn, I just, I leave my phone in the other room and I purposely go out and take my kids outside just so I can get away from that. Um, and running really helps me during this time to, to take my mind off of things and it reduces a lot of the anxiety, you know, and it gives you those, um, running secretes happy hormones. I think that's a great reminder and I think it's important yeah. for people to remember just do what you can stay active but don't feel like you have to run a marathon during this oh, time because so, that's yeah. not what's important that's right now important right? right now actually what's important is to your health is just to stay home and 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 to um self-reflect use this time to self-reflect and meditate and I'm taking some online classes on religion um I'm using this opportunity to, kind of, you know, go out of my, uh, you know, out of my way to, to learn new things. Yeah. I've finished three books. I've, you know, you do what you can. So, um, yeah, take this time, you know, to do what you've always wanted to do, actually. And if you don't, that's okay, too, because it's, it's, it's really hard during this time. Yeah. And I think that, again, you make a great point. Like, not everyone needs to come out of this with a new hobby or oh, a side hustle, or, you right. know, it's just, not, yeah. even if you are just taking time, spending it more, being your introspective, family, yeah. your kids, um, you know, read a little more, you know, and just do, take it day by day, and that's what I'm doing now, is just taking it day by day, on days that I feel like running, I'll go out for a nice run, on days that I don't feel like running, that's okay, I'll do something else to move my body, so, um, yeah, it's just take it day by day, yeah, that's great to hear. Um, so I also want to talk about a couple other things. I know that aside from being a runner, you're also a mom and you are a wife and you also, you know, you use your social media platform um, for a lot of uh, active social causes. So in lieu of all of that stuff, like in lieu of what has happened, how are you you know, like, for example, not being able to do that fundraiser uh, for Penny Appeal in Palestine. Are there other ways in which, you know, you can suggest for people um, to sort of promote causes that they are passionate about or, um, you know, how to sort of feel giving in a time where it is kind of difficult to really think that anything good can happen at the yeah, moment? Yeah, it's really hard. That's an excellent question. Um, I haven't really thought about that much, but what I can say is that there's a ton of people doing good out there, you know, and, and trying to help, um, our communities through this. So what I can say is to donate whatever you can to those causes. Um, and there's a lot, whether it's Muslim communities, whether it's non-Muslim communities. Um, I saw a fundraiser the other day on, um, Imam Omar Suleiman's what uh, website or Facebook about supporting local imams who are out of their jobs now yeah with coronavirus so I thought that was something excellent to donate to um different you know different fundraiser whatever you can because right now it's hard for me to get out there and physically help obviously you know it's I have kids so I I'm I can't go out there to, to physically be out there and and be on the you know donate or do whatever um what they do, what they're doing is they're giving out food and whatnot. I, I can't physically go out there and do that. You know, what's so funny is that right before Corona um, happened, I actually hit my goal of $10,000. Oh, wow. That's amazing. $10,000 for Palestinian. Congratulations. Thank you. And subhanAllah, like, <laughs> it's so funny because Palestine um, was canceled, the trip to Palestine, the Palestine Marathon. And then like just a few days after that, I hit my goal and 
I closed, I closed the campaign. So I, I hit my goals. So now I'm just sitting at home like, okay, <laughs> what do I do now? Like, but it, it's, you know, it's like I said, it's postponed. Okay. Well, um, is there anything that you would like to just put out there for the Muslim community here in Southeast Michigan that you would like them to know? Um, maybe some advice um, that you have. Stay home. <laughs> stay home. Um, you know, as much as you can. I'm trying not to grocery shop. Yeah. Like literally trying to get as much as I need for a week or two and then, you know, step out after that, you know, get, yeah. you know, refuel. So, it's a great um, yeah, that's, that's my advice. Honestly, stay home, take it day by day and just pray for the whole Uma in general. Pray for that this will be, you know, this, this will end soon and that we will come out of this um, a little more inspired and grateful and more humbled. Yeah, inshallah. Um, well, that's our zoom in on the Halal Metropolis interview with Rahaf Khatib. Um, to everyone who's listening, thank you so much. And to those of you who have a story that you would like us to share, to, to share with us so that we can share with the rest of the community, please let us know. Rahaf, if you know of anyone that you would like us to talk to, um, please feel For free sure. to contact us. Um, thank you so much, everyone, and we'll see you on the next one. Assalamu alaikum.